How do and welcome to episode 22 of Pokemon Violet. Uh, where last time we just got to this. Oh god, look at that awful JPEG. Um, <laughs> we got to this uh, final Team Star base, so we're going to take that on uh, before anything else. Because it's always good fun. <coughs> We're approaching the end game, and I'm kind of curious to see uh, where the, each of these plot threads go to. Uh, even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. With the last bastion of Team Star, losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How is that for hospitality? Okay, last base. Oh, Phalanx. It's an interesting Pokemon to have ro roaming around. Surely Golden Go is going to wreck it though, right? Don't know how Scoville is going to do it here! It's a bit of a... It's my outlier Pokemon, really. Oh, there's a lot of fully evolved Pokemon here. Go on, Scoville. Okay. A lot of strange Pokemon in this base. I wonder if this is supposed to be the last base, like... I needed to sort of fly in in the last episode to even get here, so something about that says um, this might be... You might need a certain amount of Titan powers to actually get here, which, I mean, to a degree, that kind of makes the game not as open world as it claims to be, really, doesn't it? If you need an ability to get somewhere, it means you have to have done a prerequisite to get there, right? <coughs> Not that I mind. It's not not a big deal. Um, I wonder. Um, so, obviously, anyone who's watching who's already completed the game, maybe you could let me know um, if you do the bases in a different order and do the last base. Is the dialogue similar? Like, is it like is there like a system in place where, like? If, if, like, X base is your last base, then, like, this happens kind of thing. <coughs> It'd be interesting to see, like... I, the, the final gym thing... Oh, that's not a good combination. It's a Heracross. Oh, but it still beat it. Weird. Um, what am I saying? Go on, Golden Go. Okay, don't. Um, yeah, the dialogue for the gyms is pretty easy for him to have coded in, I guess, because right, Golden Go isn't doing anything for some reason. Um, I've, I've lost my track of thought twice. Right, so <laughs> the gym thing's easy because like Nimona comes in and says, "Oh, it's your last gym," blah blah. The gym leader doesn't really acknowledge that it's the last gym. Which I, I get because like I, I imagine you'd have to each gym leader would have to have different sets of lines and <coughs> with the B and eight possibilities that like that, that ends up being a lot of um, rejigging dialogue and stuff. Especially if you want the characters to feel like they've got their own dialogue to say. As usual, this has been dead easy. So this has been the hardest one, and I mean, no, arguably the hardest one because it's more fully evolved and more dangerous Pokemon here. But right, well, Skull Villain died at the end. Um, I had to, I had to heal in the Fairy one more. The Fairy one was quite tough. Just, just in managing the health, though, it wasn't challenging. It wasn't like, oh my god, I need to heal. Kill character. I like having a female wrestler in a game. I think, I mean, they exist, don't they? So, like, why shouldn't they be? Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury one, anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. <laughs> Rah! <laughs> <sighs> I 
Let's see how quick I can deal with this one. I was in the last battle quite a while. But Golden Go first, yeah. Right, okay. Oh, I'm going to steam through her normal Pokemon. It's just the uh, Mobile now. And it's got more lighting on the Star Mobile, so that says to me that maybe. Oh shit, Sucker Punch. Of course. Should have known, really. Anything else gets a sucker, sucker punch down on Golden Go. And that's it, he's out. Or she's out, I don't know. Don't know. Lucario. Lucario can have sucker punch. With me being a ghost type, though, I can actually sponge an attack if it does a fighting attack. I doubt it will be stupid enough to, though. A max potion. Yeah, let's use a max potion. I don't know if I've noticed if the, any of the other cars have been a different colour than you. They possibly have. Oh, that wasn't great. I'm probably faster though. Let's terrestrialize and just go for it. Imagine, yeah, uh, Golden Ghost hat is the ghost hat, isn't it? So, <laughs> terrestrializing actually wasn't wise there, but sod it. It's done. It's a visual thing, isn't it? Oh, it didn't kill Lucario. I think Lucario has killed me. Yeah, okay, deserved. Oh, that was good against Lucario. Ceroled should do alright, actually. It's got Dark Pulse, though. So I need, I need to hit first here, really. Let's go for a bit of Blade. Oh, I have done. That's alright. Simeon. Uh, let's keep let's keep Sarah out just for now. I know it's normal fighting, so I can't use ghost moves on it, which is fine. Now let's use a revive on you. Don't kill Sarah Ledge, please. Okay, lowering my speed. Why? Is, oh, I'm fire type, of course. Let's use a bit of blade anyway. Oh, it's faster than me. Oh, of course it is. It's debuff my speed. Hmm. Got rock attacks, so I need to try and attack first, really. Hey, it's nice to have um. Actual challenging Pokemon. Oh, it's confused. Good, good, good. Hurt yourself. That's reduced all its defences though, which is good. Uh, no way, this Persimian is uh, tough. Well, let's debuff its attack before I die. I've just realised that I actually try and revive a lot of my Pokemon in these fights so they get XP and I'm quite sure you don't get XP from the fights. Okay, well that's a really weakened Persimian now. Next hit should kill it. It, w it wouldn't be right if I wouldn't use my boy, right? Oh, my girl! <laughs> Uh, let's use Stone Edge because that crits. Oh no. Okay, but please hit. Please hit. Yes. Right. I'm actually having to try a little more with this one. Annihilate. Ghost time. Uh, 
that's going to hit hard, isn't it? I'm going to keep um, Gargantical out anyway. Uh, should try at the very least. Try at the very least to salt cure this thing. Oh, I knew that'd hurt. What a cool Pokemon, though. Who do I think could deal with Annihilate? Probably Low Kicks. Although, saying that, I do have Golden Ghost still. Uh, let's try to get a Shadow Ball off and hope for the best. Come on, hit it hard, please. Yes! It's a scary Pokemon to have pulled out at you. Not just visually, but like, I know it can hit hard. So please lend me your strength. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam, super effective. Good. Right, well at least I'll get a nice hit off. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm trying to work out what type has high horsepower is. I think it's actually ground. Something said to me it was fighting. I was like, how could that hit? Right, these two are like my weakest Pokemon. I'll have to see if I've got a Max Revive. Get Garganical out. I'm actually being pushed here. Uh, yes, I do have a max revive. To be fair, um, Scoville might resist a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Not very well, apparently, but. Uh, let's get a Zen headbutt down. Hopefully it hits. No, it's too fast. Hmm. I think I need to be smart here. I think I need to try and get my defences up first. If possible. There's two stages. And I've got more, so it won't kill me next turn. And if I get another iron defence down. Hope it doesn't crit. Good, good, good. Right, so that I'm faster, I think I'm better using an item than recover. As soon as I've got the defences up of uh, Garganical, I should win this. Oh, that was nearly very silly. Uh, Pokemon's always needed boss battles. Like they, <laughs> this feels like a boss. I'm actually struggling against it. Well, <laughs> not anymore apparently. Garganical defenses. I think crits ignore your defense stat, so I'm just gonna have to hope there's not a crit done. Right, now I'm just going to have to go all out attack. And it's going to resist because I'm rock type, but I'm pretty sure Stone Edge automatically crits. No, oh, that's not great damage. Ooh. Stamina. Uh Oh <laughs> that's gonna always hit first now. I wasted uh, my terrestrialization. I really shouldn't have. Right. 
there'll be a stage where Garganical is no no longer useful for damage, which is fine because I can then use its bulk to revive my other Pokémon. Don't like this fucking constantly rising defense though. Thank God you can use items in the normal game, eh? <laughs> I'm just doing chip damage. Right. I'm just above half HP. Last Stone Edge. Obviously, it's rock against steel, so. Speed. Man. Oh, it's attacks rising as well. Oh no, I'm not liking that. Uh, I think it might have won it. Just based on the fact that it can keep buffing. Right, well. Oh no, it's nearly at max attack. Um, it's a max buddy speed as well. Almost like I need to have inflict a status condition. Was that a crit? No, that wasn't a crit. It started to like push through my defenses. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to do recover. But oh well, yeah. Okay. So it's four-ish hits to kill me now. Hmm. Not feeling great about this situation. Uh. Right. I've revived Serial Edge. Um. Golden Go. could test just to see whether um, the salt move, salt cure, does consistent damage because if it does that might I might be able to cheese my way out of this. Oh, that's next to no damage. <laughs> okay, this is uh, pretty solid. Um, I definitely need to get a recover down there. <clears throat> I mean, I suppose this is this is like showing the vehicle side of it. Its speed and its attack really high. It's pretty much a sweeper now. This this is technically how this creature was supposed to be perceived. Which I'm kind of, I'm I'm actually pretty chuffed, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty chuffed that um They've made a really challenging Pokemon. Or boss Pokemon, however you want to view it. I think I need to heal my two guys to the max and just hope they're gonna withstand. Cause I can't see any other way I'm gonna get through this. I can Serial Edge can. Um, what should I call it? Buff its speed, but right. Well, I think Garganical is pretty much useless now. Or is it? Well, I've only got one recover left. Let's just try and drain its attacks. No, no, it's too fast. Too fast. <laughs> oh. This is worrying. Uh, what do I go with? They, they all hit hard, but saying that Serial Edge, if it hits second, it's constantly going to heal itself. So. I'm just going to have to hope that I hit hard. 
I could do flame charge. I don't think I'll last more than one turn though. Don't kill me. It killed me. Oh, but this is going to sweep me, isn't it? This might be the first battle I lose in the game. Because high horsepower really hurt Golden Go last time, too. Uh, go for the highest damage. Just hope. Right, shift gear might have helped me there. I don't think it's raised its special defense. Come on. Yeah! Oh, I've got to get one more hit. I wish I had a priority move. Uh, Shadow Claw would have been good. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure Shadow Claw always hits first. So, wait, 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 check the summary. I think Sucker Punch does. As well, if the opponent's attacking. Can I not view the moves? Uh, let's see. Have you got Shadow Claw? You do. I'm pretty sure Shadow Claw is a priority move. Oh, will it resist it though? Do I. Say, tell you what, I'll revive if I don't survive. I'll revive using Primate. And try for a Shadow Claw. This is probably going to kill me. Yeah. Oh, if I win this, it'll be like by a, a slither. Saying that, he has. Does Primeape have a priority move? Is Rage Fist priority? I think I think the smart thing to do is try for a shadow claw. <clears throat> no way! I should have hit it. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Um, this will be annoying if I lose this now. Serial Edge, it's all counting on you, mate. Maybe I should read Shadow Claw first. I was trying to do that before. It's got a heightened chance of critical hitting. No, I'm dead. Oh, for God's sake, man. That's the first time I've lost, I think. <laughs> it's barely a defeat, really, is it? Right, alright, well, I'll tell you what. I have some other stuff. Uh, three classes. I want to level up. Mouse hold. Right, who do I take out my team for now? Well, I'll put you at the front because I want you to evolve because that will give us a better advantage next time. Who am I not bothered about levelling up? I like everyone. Uh, Skull Villain was the least useful there. Like, just overall. So, I'll move Skull Villain into here. Selection box. Let's, no, 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 you. Right. And I'm going to start um, finishing up my decks because I feel like I'm slowly but surely approaching the end of the game. I don't want to complete the game without having seen all the new Pokemon because I just think that's the. The reason why people watch a Let's Play, right, is, is to react to stuff. So, Tandem Mouse is my next in line. Um, let's change hold item. No, I can't. Can I not swap it? Okay, never mind. I'll give Tandem Mouse a lucky egg. Uh, yep. Um, 
yep that's my first Pokemon to be getting at the moment um, <clears throat> what else do I want to get Toad School Tag Tree Thicket right let's have a look let's have a look where Tag Tree Thicket is there it is uh, is there a way to fly there though no. right okay <clears throat> So I'll battle some Pokemon, evolve, mouse hold, um, get myself a Toad School. Have I marked it? I've not marked it. That's a daft thing to have done. Right. Next, I want Primeape at the front because I want to evolve it. Nice. Let's go Toad School hunting. And, you know, I'll, I'll go for the items that I've not got yet as well, while I'm here. Uh... Okay, this was on the way to another base, by the looks of things. I don't see any wild Pokemon. I do miss ha miss having a fishing rod. I, I, I feel there's... I, I know you can go in the water now. I get that. that that's fine. It's cutting out a middleman. It's cutting out, like, key items and, like... My, like, kind of being over-encumbered, really. But... I'm not a fan of, um... That's a shrewdle. Shrewdles... Got you, but I think I can get a rage fist off on you. <coughs> yep, so that's one rage fist. It needs 20 rage fists to evolve, you see. And I think my primate would have been a lot more useful in that battle had it evolved. Evolves, what are you? <gasps> Thank you! That's another box tick. That's pretty funny, actually. I, I I don't think it's very creative of them to just do a do colour palette, change its typing, but that being said, I think it's hilarious seeing it walking on its tentacles. Um, yeah, so I'm pleased with that, and I'm glad I found it as well, like, as if it was that quick. <clears throat> Though it looks like a tentacle, Toad's Cool is a completely different species. Its legs may be thin, but it can run at 30 miles an hour. I think that's quite fun. I think um, playing with the concept behind old Pokemon, giving them a new like lick of paint sort of kind of thing, I think that's not necessarily a bad idea for this series. <coughs> Obviously... They have to pace it out. They can't just go, here's Gen 1. They've just all got different types again. Although, guilty as charged, really. I would probably play, if they, they were like, right, here's red and blue, but here's the twist. They're all regional variants of the red and blue Pokemon. I'd probably play that. I think that would be fun. I, let's just... They call this the last one. I'll try a level up. See if um, Prime Ape evolves. Because <clears throat> I'm like, I must be 20 in now, right? That's not a lot of XP, is it really? But. Let's use the small ones, let's not waste big ones. I <laughs> can't you waste a big one anyway. Oh, okay. Final gambit. Uh... 
don't think I'll use Outrage. At least not in my playthrough. I, I don't have any dragon. There we go. There we go. As I've said before, since Gen 1, this Pokemon has deserved to evolve. And I can't think of a cool revolution for it. Right, Annihilate. It's... It, oh shit, I always do that. <laughs> Shadow Punch. Ooh. Never misses. Shadow Punch is better than that, actually, because Annihilate needs to have been hit. Okay. Right, well, I'm pleased with that. Um... See what Toad School needs to be to level up. I've got I've got notes, I've got myself a little list. Level 30. It's not far off it. Let's uh No, let's let's level it up naturally. Let's not waste our resources for now. I get I get to I get to use an Annihilate. <laughs> Think of it like that. It's leveling up Toad School too. So angry it dies and becomes this vengeful spirit. What a sick Pokemon. Right, so looking at time, I actually don't have time for a second uh, attempt. However, I do have time for some classes. <clears throat> and this is a box that I want to be ticking off now, really. Uh, because I want to see the school stuff before. Like, it feels weird that if, if I complete the story and then do the school stuff at the end, it just feels like it won't flow very well. <clears throat> like, I want to have done all the main in-game stuff for the Let's Play. Like, I think that's only right, really. <clears throat> yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Let's do Home Echo 2. Yep. <clears throat> I can't remember this teacher, to be honest. I think this is the one, well, that's obviously the one I've done the least of, but still. Oh, it's him. Put away your phones, it's time to be begin class. In our last class, I believe we talked about the effects that food can have on your picnics. Right. You can receive meal powers and even restore HP for all the Pokemon in your party. It's truly a convenient means of healing your Pokemon. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you're aware, it's not suited for us in to use in battles. When you cannot make food or you wish to restore HP quickly. In times such as these, you should make use of healing items such as potions, which you can purchase from Pokemarts and the school store. <coughs> healing items are immediately effective and can be used any time you open your bag. They are, however, consumed after one use. Potions are 20 HP. Yeah, we know this. We know this this far in. The price of the item, the more HP it will restore. Keep in mind how much money you will have when you're stocking up on these items. However, unforeseen happenings are an inextricable part of travelling from place to place. Imagine, if you will, the following scenario. You find yourself with an injured Pokemon, but you have no potions and you're out of sandwich ingredients, and there are no Pokemon centres nearby. Tell me, Master Sean, what should you search for when in, per in a perilous situation and nobody able to heal your Pokemon? Place with water will teach items on the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's why there's so many items, because it's a survival thing. Okay. How do they end up there, though? <laughs> like, they refresh. I suppose, I suppose it could imply that there are... Um, Students out there that are fainting and dropping the stuff, but at the rate that they drop. At any rate, if you find yourself in need for healing, I suggest you look around for shining items on the ground. If you can't find such items, there are other methods you may employ with healing your. Ah, but the bell demands that topic weight. Our time together has come for an end today. I bid you all farewell. <coughs> Yeah. 
Don't be sad, eh? Put away your phones, it's time to begin class. In my last class I talked about HP restoration. However, after last class, I was asked several I was asked by several of you about power points, commonly known as PP. When a Pokemon loses all its HP, it faints and can no longer battle. And what happens when Pokemon loses all of its PP? Can't use moves. Perfectly correct, Master Sean. Perhaps you know this from first hand experience. Of course I do. <laughs> When a Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use its moves. However, each move has its own store of PP. You can mitigate PP loss by a variety of moves rather than just using one repeatedly. If a Pokemon loses all PP for all of its moves, it will only be able to use Struggle, an action that also damages the Pokemon that uses it. In order to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored at the Pokemon centers along with HP. Items such as ethers and max ethers can also be used to restore PP. Be careful not to confuse potions with ethers in the heat of battle. However, ethers are not sold at the shops, so you should use them judiciously if you can find them. The stronger the move, the lower its maximum PP. Do not waste use, use of these moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. It is important to find balance in a set of Pokemon's, Pokemon's set of moves. As you can see, HP isn't the only thing you must keep an eye on while adventuring with Pokemon. I hope that you will all take care to ensure that your partner Pokemon can perform at their best as you each engage in the treasure hunt. Our time together has come to an end for today. Our next meeting will be examination day. Be sure to review well in preparation. I think his class will be the easier one because like, it's just sandwiches and healing stuff. <clears throat> the time has come to test how well you have all learned in my class. Let's begin before the information simmering in your brains from a last minute cram session fades. the following affects the kind of meal powers you receive. Fill in the condiments with what people eat it. Fill in the condiments. Oh, uh, all round. Leandro wanted his Pokemon to decide on its own when to use its item in battle, so he gave it an Orenberry. Orenberry? Orenberry? <laughs> this will work as he hopes. That's, a, that's an awkward one, because it doesn't... It does decide on its own, but it's when it's at low health HP. I'm going to say true, it's an awkward one though. If a move runs out of PP, it can no longer be used. If a Pokemon runs out of PP for all its moves, it can only sit there in frustration. Oh, because it can. It uses a move called frustration. They were weirdly worded uh, questions. Please remember to ask the staff these scores at the front desk before leaving for the day. That one tried to get you out on technicalities, I think. Let's have a look. Come on. Four out of five isn't bad. I'll take that. Right, just a final thing. So I'll move you for now because in the next episode I'm gonna actually Electros would have been alright there because it could have paralysed it, which would have given me more of an advantage, but I think this bad boy would have been even better. 
needs leveling up to catch up to us like. So... Let's just use all the rest of them on him. That, could, that would have finished things actually last time. Um, that lowers my special attack. And for the, that specific scenario, I think I need to keep my... What's your you learn hacks? No, let's stick with what we got for now, eh? Right, okay. So... Let's just leave the school. Because for, for some reason it doesn't feel like the episode's over if I don't leave school. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Right, okay. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, remember, re please, to remember, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!